Yo, what is up, guys? Daddy is back. Got some more gameplay coming out to you, and for some reason, I'm still rocking these Bears jerseys. Don't know why, but for some reason, it has not brought us bad luck, even though the Bears really do, you know, suck this year. Um, you know, no offense to any Bears fans out there, but God, you guys need some help. Anyway, got a quick roster update for you. Offense hasn't changed, you know, best player over there, still Des Bryant. Um, defensively, though, it, you know, we've got a lot of a lot of red over there, a lot of team of the week, and like this Antonio Cromartie team of the week, who actually overtakes, you know, Akeem Tlaib as the number one. I don't know how I feel about that, because Akeem Tlaib's been so locked down for us. Um, another player we got, we're throwing him at our end, even though he's a linebacker, is the team of the week, Alan Smith, and he's just a beast. I mean... Look at that 98 power move. Like, how do you stop this guy? How do you stop him? Another guy you don't want to get hit by, Eric Reed back there. And I know I talked about him last time. So let's get into the big acquisition of the week, in my opinion. And that is Dion Buchanan, because this is who I use around with. 94 speed, 95 hit power. This dude is just a mad truck who can also catch. So 77 catch, that is perfect. He pretty much is um, an upgrade in some ways to the MVP Eric Berry. Um, you can argue back and forth, you know, which one you like better, but I ended up selling, it, selling the Eric Berry, and I went after the Dion Buchanan. But, um, but anyway, so coming out here, you know, I'm going to try and run it, but I noticed my opponent after the first the first play started really pinching his line down, so not really the best for me to run it, so I'm going to throw it. And you guys are noticing I'm running the same play here, and I'll get back to that in a second. My opponent paused the game, and I'm like, you know what? Why is he really wanting me to, you know, why is he stuffing the run so much? And I realized that um, his cornerbacks are the team of the week, Richard Sherman, and the elite Richard Sherman. Holy crap. This guy spent some coin for this, uh, or he just got some amazing pulls because, uh, because you know what? I know those two Richard Shermans go for a bunch of coin. Even the elite Richard Sherman, uh, you know, people still rock him, uh, you know, um, even when they got, you know, better than him just because of his height and he's just a ball hawk. Um, so, yeah, passing should not really work out too well in this game or so you think. But anyway, I really thought that was going to be a fumble there. Uh, every time I keep watching that, I don't know how Cordero Patterson held on to it, but he did. So whatever. Um, now, going back to the, the plays on this drive, I literally am running one, one formation. It's called Tackle Over in the uh, Eagles playbook out of their shotgun. Um, and it was an 0 one trap inside zone or a uh, um, sprint out smash where essentially Des Bryant runs there and Julio Jones runs this beautiful corner route and gets a score. But I literally went down the field pretty much 90% of my plays with that one set. And um, the one thing that's nice about it is you can come out in the 0 one trap and you could audible to the inside zone or to the sprint out smash if um if uh, if uh the defense looks like you know you can you can burn them with it um but uh you know that's that's the offense so now on defense we don't want to give up nothing here he's coming out in a lot of i form sets so i'm i'm guessing he's going to try and really you know run it with Kaepernick clearly or his running back and here i thought maybe we could have gotten that pick with Deion Buchanan but clearly ea just wants to give me the half ass swat thing and you know what it will come we will get this pick with Deion Buchanan you know i i, I guarantee it like it's got to come because 77 catch and he's thrown it a lot over the middle it's just it's got to happen, you know. Um, anyway, this can't happen. Justin Smith, you know, not getting the tackle on uh, Colin Kaepernick. We just can't let that happen. Um, this this is all right, though. We're, we're going to call some timeouts, try and preserve some clock, see if maybe we can get the ball back and get down the field. Going to do it again, force him to kick the field goal. And all right, not too, too bad. Um, field goal is fine. 45 seconds, no timeouts, you know. Pretty much, you know, we're going to go over the top, see if we can get something. And still noticing he's not coming out in man defense. When you see a guy come out in Hail Mary, you need to just switch to man, no matter what your defensive set is, because things like this are going to happen. Um, is it luck? Yes, totally. Have I done it before? Yeah. Have I had it done to me? Yes. Um, here, I just kind of, I just wanted to throw it to, you know, maybe get swatted down. But, you know, we ended up catching it. So, all right. You know, I'll take it. Um, we're up by two solid scores now, and um, you know we're gonna kick the ball off. So whatever, it really doesn't matter. Essentially, we just scored and kicked on the ball. That's how I look at it. Um, but it does change the dyna the dynamic of the game because now I'm really not worried about the run, especially when he decides to throw it. And Deion Buchanan, you know, CPU picked him. Holy crap! Loving this Deion Buchanan right now. If he's gonna jump routes like this. Um, and he's already going to that run commit, so we know how desperate it really is. Uh, but if you're going to give Peyton Manning this much time, he's going to find an open receiver. 
So now the game is totally out of reach in my opinion. Like, you know, three scores like this, unless I have a total like, you know, if unless I totally shit the bed and you know have a total meltdown, it's just not going to happen. And you think like we're only a, like a minute into the, you know, uh, second half here, and we're already up by 18 points and he hasn't really stopped us on offense. Eh. Eh, not looking good for you, guy. Not looking good at all. And when things like this happen, fourth and one, and we get to stop. Oof, oof. What a bad day it is. And n nothing against my opponent. He, he probably he might still be good, but um, it just things were not going his way, and things were going my way. You know, that's that's just how it, it falls sometimes. Um, here though, Vince Jackson nine times on ten pulls that in. For some reason does not. Whatever. Des Bryant's gonna come back and get a score for himself. So. God, you know, I almost, I really do feel bad for this guy. I almost wanted to just like, I wish I could have just messaged him. Like, look, dude, just quit out. There's no reason to be in the game. And look at that. Colin Kaepernick had the first down and he decided to throw it. I don't know if he was just trying to slide. You know, that does happen. Um, and this does happen when you test me over the middle. Granted, I don't use her, uh, you Luke Keekly too much, but this does happen. Uh, we get the user pick. And now I'm just going to run the ball. You know, I'm just going to run it to try and get the first down. You know, just so that way I can just chew up more of this clock because he's just going to continue to try and you know push the ball down the field. And I'm pretty much over this game. Like It's just like, holy crap, what a warp tackle that was uh, with Luke Keekley. Uh, and this this doesn't make me happy. Kuhn, you're going to be gone, Kuhn. You're going to drop you know passes like this. Ridiculous. I thought you were supposed to be one of the best fullbacks in the game. Clearly not. But Jordan Cameron is one of the best tight ends, in my opinion. The best tight end that's in the game right now, except for maybe Gronkowski. Um he gets a score, and somehow I don't get the pick there with uh, D.M. Buchanan. I still want still want to get that pick with D.M. Buchanan. Still want it. Still looking after it. And here, though, we do get it. We do get the pick with D.M. Buchanan. So, you know, we got two used picks. Two picks for D.M. Buchanan in the game. Not not too bad. Um, I'm going to try and run some read option here, though. You know, I haven't gotten a chance to really run uh, run the option this year. I did like it last year, um, and I figured the Eagles playbook should have some pretty awesome triple option stuff, and it does. Um, I, I practiced it on someone else later, um, but you can't do this. You can't let Des Bryant beat you over the top. Um, so my synopsis there is the fact that Des Bryant is greater than the team of the week, um, uh, Richard Sherman, which arguably is the second best corner that's available in the game right now. Or maybe third, you know, because of that Thanksgiving, uh, you know, Deion Sanders. But um, but yeah, you know, you if, if there's certain cards that you know, no matter what their price is, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of. And one of them is that team of the week, Des Bryant. I really don't foresee me getting rid of him. He's just too much of an overpower card. Now the team, the team captain, uh, Julio, and the team captain, uh, Vince Jackson. I might be willing to sell those. Um, just because you know, I really don't need them. I have like. Cordero Patterson. I still have the Muhammad Sanu. That um, those two cards are beast himself. So you know, maybe maybe I'll switch them out and just see see how they play and uh, sell just sell whatever cards I can because I really don't need some of these cards. But anyway, going back on defense, you know, the game's totally out of reach now. I mean, there's just no way. Um, we chewed up more than enough clock. I don't even care about f uh, fumble. Jesus. Look at that. That's why you get Eric Reed <laughs> for boomsticks like this. When you can boomstick Megatron and make him essentially fumble into, you know, a key to leave, uh, he's just that overpowered. That overpowered. Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> this is going to, you know, essentially, like, look at this. This is this is the epitome of, like, oh, fuck. Our defense really does blow. Like, look at this. Paint Manning got, like, a 15-yard run on you. Peyton Manning, I was like, you were timing me with a sundial. He was so damn slow. And when when Peyton Manning can you know dice up your you know your team of the week, Richard Sherman, like this, Jesus, I I, I need to remind myself not to go after that Richard Sherman, the team of the week one, because he's just gonna get burned by you know receivers like Des Bryant. But anyway, that ends up ending the video. Like it if you guys liked it. Comment down below what you guys' thoughts. And always subscribe for muck games, head to heads, pack openings, and all that. And you know maybe a Christmas you know holiday giveaway here soon. But that's it for me, guys. I'm out. Deuces.